everyone, if you're new here, my name is Michelle, if not welcome back. Before I get into the video, I just wanted to quickly say if any of you are missing my content and you're missing like super duper regular videos from me, I'm sorry about that, but there will be more coming so, so soon. And just to let you know, if you follow me on Instagram, I am constantly posting pictures on there, Instagram stories, kind of like daily vlogging a few bits and pieces of my day. So if you're missing content from me, please head over there. It's at Michelle Crossan underscore. I'll put it on the screen here as well. Follow me there. I am an Instagram addict and an Instagram stories addict as well. Is anyone else just loving Instagram stories? Like what's Snapchat? I don't even remember. So today I wanted to talk to you about my journey back to fitness and all of my essentials that I use in my gym bag. Last year when I broke up with my ex, I just been so up and down and Lately, like over the last six to eight months, I just decided to make myself a priority in my own life. And that is mentally, physically, everything, my career, just making myself the top of my to-do list every day. I'm the priority, what do I need today to be the best version of myself? I know that sounds selfish, but sometimes we need to be selfish to look after ourselves. And when I'm trying to look after my mind, I feel like looking after my body is just hand in hand with that. When you look after your body, the mind kind of goes with it. They're very much in sync with each other. So in all of this change and looking after myself, one of the best things I've done is to make physical activity one of my biggest daily priorities. I've gotten into fitness before, but never to the level that I'm really enjoying it now I have to say like I absolutely love going to the gym it is one of my favorite parts of my day at the moment I have time to go between three and five times a week I know that sounds like a lot but I'm not like a super professional yet like I'm still only learning so going three to five times I'm not doing like major 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 sessions Going to the gym clears my head. It helps me think straight. It helps me sort out my to-do list for the day. It helps me think through any problems I'm having, whether that's problems with boys or problems with work. It just helps me to focus and think about one thing at a time. I also find that the more I work out, the more energy I have. Like you would think it would tire you out, but actually I'm getting so much more energy from being physical every day. And of course, a bonus on top of all of that is that it's getting me closer to loving my body. I've had a lot of body issues for so many years and I'm finally starting to love myself. I know that sounds kind of corny, but like it's true. <laughs> When it comes to diet and training and stuff like that, I am not a professional, I am only learning. So maybe head over to Rachel Aust or Carly Rowena's channels. They really know what they're talking about. They're great girls as well, so lovely. And I'll try and link a few more girls that are into fitness below as well to help you out. Today I just wanted to talk to us newbies, the newbies to fitness and let you know what my gym bag essentials are and what I'm using every day that helps me at the gym. So first off, you need a bag to put your stuff in. I just use this simple black tote Ooh, I nearly dropped it from witchery if you don't have witchery in your country something like Zara is very similar like really lower range price bags but they look really nice the reason I choose a bag like this is because it looks very chic and I might be on my way from a meeting or something and if I need to throw my gym stuff in it I still look nice so yeah just a plain black tote nothing too special I'll try and link this one in the description box below it wouldn't be my channel if I didn't mention a beauty product for my gym bag essentials one of my absolute essentials for my gym bag is cleanser I am totally down with wearing tinted moisturizer and you know stuff like that to the gym if it makes you feel good but when it comes to a full face of makeup if I've just been filming or if I'm coming from a meeting my skin ain't having that. My skin will just break out if I work out in that kind of makeup. The cleanser that I've been loving is the Neutrogena Micellar Gel to Foam for dry skin, two-in-one makeup remover and deep cleanser. The Neutrogena Micellar Gel to Foam is like a two-in-one product, so it's killing two birds at one stone. It's using all of the technology of the micellar waters that we all love. You know the way you pop it on your cotton pad, you wipe it around your face, and then it pulls off all the makeup, kind of like a magnet. I don't know. What it is about micellar water, it is an amazing technology. But this has the same technology without having to use the cotton pad. So you start off as a gel, you rub it into your face, it dissolves all of your makeup, removes everything. But then when you add water, it transforms into a foam. 
So then you're washing your face as well. It's like double cleansing, but without having to like faff about with different products and wasting your time. It's so quick and easy to use. It's exactly what I need when I'm feeling lazy and I'm not in the mood for the gym. I just wanna cut my routine so short so that I can get my makeup off and not have to worry about it. So in just that one step, you have all your makeup off, the impurities are taken out of your skin, your skin is clean, fresh, healthy, ready to work out, and you didn't need to use cotton buds or cloths like you would with cleansers and micellar water. I use the formula for dry skin. As you can see, I have used it like all the way up to here. I've probably about three pumps left in this, so I need to restock, but there's also a formula for normal to oily skin. So if that's more of your skin type, there is one for you too. I might have to use this until I can restock the other one. After I cleanse my skin, I don't tend to use anything else unless my face is looking super duper white because I'm fake tanned. So if I'm brown up to here and white in the face, I will use a BB cream. And this is the Burt's Bees BB cream. This is so light and fresh in the skin. It won't clog you up or anything. I absolutely love this. I've used it in a few videos before and I think I've mentioned it on Instagram. So I won't go on too much about it. It's very cheap as well, cheap as chips. So I throw that in my bag too for days when I'm just like ghost face. When it comes to activewear and gym attire, I have tried a lot of different brands over the years, but now that I've taken my fitness goals a little bit more seriously, I have invested in a lot of Nike sportswear and I'm pretty much Nike head to toe these days. I'm not sponsored by Nike, nothing like that. I just really, really love their gear. One of my favorites is the dry fit leggings. They're really comfortable and they like really suck you in, make you look slimmer than you are, which is kind of nice because it gives you that motivation and it doesn't show any lumps and bumps on your bum or leg and they also absorb sweat really well. You don't get sweat patches, anything like that. I absolutely love these. They're just like the best leggings I've tried and I've tried so many brands. Their sports bras are also great. This is one of my favorites. I'll try and link it in the description box for you below, which I will do with everything that I mention. It's got good support, but it's not too restrictive. I find a lot of sports bras can be very, very tight and like, I don't need that much tightness. And I think it's also cute. It doesn't look too grannyish. It's got nice crisscross detailing. So that is one of my favorites. It's not a lot you can say about bras really. It's just a nice one. I really, really like the Nike dry fit tops as well. This is one of my faves, it's gray. I tend to go with a lot of monochrome colors, but I am wearing a pink one right now that I really like. Um, they just absorb sweat really well. They're great quality, they wash really well. I find a lot of gym gear doesn't wash very well. I think that's when you buy the cheaper stuff. These are actually long sleeved ones as well. I don't know why, but I really don't like feeling kind of naked at the gym. I don't like having my arms out or heaps of leg out. I don't know why, I know that's strange, but that's just how I feel. They've also got the thumb holes in them as well, which I really like, even though I don't know what purpose they serve, but I do really like it. Just as with the leggings, they don't show like sweat patches. The dry fit technology keeps you feeling fresh even though you're sweating. They're just great quality, I swear. I just went into Nike one day and said, that's it. If I'm gonna take my fitness seriously, I'm going to invest in good sports gear, and I'm so glad I did. Nike dry fit especially is incredible. I don't always wear one, but I do like to wear caps at the gym. There's something about having the cap on that I feel like I can just have no makeup on. I feel like I have my privacy, put my headphones on, and nobody's looking at me. Not that they're looking at me anyway, but it's just in my head. But I just feel like it gives me that extra bit of privacy and focus. And this is just a nightcap. This is one of my favorites because it's cotton. It doesn't get your head too hot. That makes you, you know, sweat even more. And also I can throw this in the wash because it's just cotton. And it's kind of cute, I like it. And finally, on the Nike train, I have this hoodie that I really, really love. I don't wear the hoodies at the gym because I get too hot, but this is really nice for when I'm walking to and from the bus to the gym. It's just a really good one. I will link everything below so that you can check it out yourself if you wanted to invest in any sportswear, but honestly, I'm pretty much, like I said, head to toe in Nike these days. Oh, and shoes, I do have Nike shoes as well. These are the trainers that I wear to the gym. They're really, really light. They feel like air on the feet. They're so comfortable. If you are going to be doing any kind of running on hard ground, you do need better supported trainers, but that is something that you can go in to a sports store and ask them about. So if you ask the staff there, what kind of shoes do I need for what kind of training, they'll help you out, but these are the ones that I'm using. And I also wear these like with jeans and stuff as well. They look really cute. Nike, 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 Nike. I'm a tad obsessed. Can you tell I have an obsessive personality? <laughs> of course, music is another essential for the gym, whether that is to just get you moving to get out of the house or actually at the gym. I have to have 
music. So I made a Spotify playlist for myself and I've left it on public so that all of you guys can listen to it too. I had quite a few people on Instagram asking me what music I listened to when I was working out. So I'm going to link that in the description box below for you guys so you can check it out. Don't judge. Workout music can vary, you know, it's everything from like gangsta to Beyonce, so just just take it as it is. It's workout music. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like embarrassed right that. Just check it out and see what you think. As for headphones, I just use the headphones that came with my iPhone 7. I am looking to invest in a pair for the gym though, so if you have any recommendations, please let me know below. Another essential for the gym is obviously a water bottle. You need water at the gym. Who would have thought it? So this bottle here is a little bit extra special. It has an automatic seal on it. So you fill it up with water and then even if you do this, it can't spill because the water cannot be released unless you actually press this on the back. And that is perfect if you're clumsy like me and you spill water everywhere, this stops that. And also, if you have your water bottle in your handbag, it doesn't matter even if it does this and the lid is up, it's not going to spill, which I just, I'm so clumsy. I spill everything, I walk into everything. So stuff like this is brilliant. I don't know how much this was because it was a gift, but I will link it in the description box below for you to check out. On the subject of drinks, I thought I would just quickly mention the pre-workout that I use. And for anyone who is unfamiliar with the term, pre-workout is basically a caffeine drink for working out that gets your butt moving. Of course, before you try any kind of supplement or anything, I am not a professional. You need to talk to a nutritionist, a trainer, a doctor. This is just what I use. That is simply what I'm showing you. It is just what I use. But this is the one that I was recommended and this is the No Explode XE Edge Extreme Energy Pre-Workout. I don't even know what part of that is actually the name, but again, I will link it below. This is great for giving you that extra kick before you work out. Sometimes I just feel a little bit sluggish in the morning, but if I take a scoop of this, it just gets me fired up and ready for the gym. And I often double my cardio workouts when I'm using this. So instead of 20 minutes, I can do 40 on the cross trainer. It's honestly so good, but just be very careful when it comes to caffeine and any type of supplements, you need to seek advice this is just what I use, that's all I'm telling you. This is what I use, I really like it, it tastes great, I like it a lot. Of course, if you're going to be sweating and working out, deodorant is an essential for the gym. And I've been using the Mitchum, and I just dropped it. I've been using the Mitchum Roll-On for Women Advanced Control Powder Fresh as my regular deodorant for ages, and this is brilliant. You don't get any sweat patches, it keeps you nice and fresh, it is the best roll-on ever. I absolutely love it, so I use this for the gym as well, as well as in my everyday life. But I also like to keep a spray in my bag, so the roll-on I apply at home in the mornings, and then I don't need to reapply that, but just in case I need any freshening up after the gym, I use the Nivea Antiperspirant Invisible for black and white, 48 hour whatever that's called, I don't know, there's a lot of writing on the front. This is just an average antiperspirant spray. I don't really have any preference when it comes to these, but it is good to keep one in your bag. I do like this though, because it doesn't make marks on your clothes, which is great. Obviously you don't want deodorant marks all over your gym clothes. And for anyone who's wondering why I would be like putting on deodorant after the gym, I wait until I go home to shower and freshen up after the gym. So I like to just spray myself quickly so I don't like stink out anyone on the bus but I do shower after the gym. I just know somebody's going to ask that question. Somebody always asks the strangest questions. I wait till I go home to shower. Oh, and my last essential that I almost forgot is a towel. It's just good manners to have a towel at the gym. You're sweating, you need to blot yourself down, you also need to wipe off the equipment you're using. Even though they do provide sanitary wipes um, for all of the equipment in gyms, you do need to have your towel there so you're not just like sweating everywhere. I hate carrying around big bulky towels, so I got this small one. It's only like yay size, if you can see. I got this from Nike as well, another Nike purchase, but it's just so handy rather than bringing around a huge towel with you. I can roll it up to be really, really small if I'm going anywhere and it just fits in my tote bag. So that is it for all of my basic gym essentials. I know it's very basic, but it is for beginners. It is just for girls who are looking for that little kickstart. What do I do when I'm first getting into my fitness journey? What do I need? As I was saying before, please follow me on Instagram if you're looking for super regular updates from me. I'm talking about like five times a day, Instagram stories, Instagram posts. I love it. 
follow me over there and you will see me so much more than you will on this channel even though I am planning to upload more I know I've said that a few times but if I could just life like life is in the way a lot lately and I'm trying my best to get as much content up for you as I can but it doesn't always go to plan but just bear with me and I promise you there will be much more regular content soon. Also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more from me like I said there's going to be so many more videos coming up and I also have some travel planned if you want to see where I'm going maybe do a few vlogs let me know in the comment section below but that is all I have for you today thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again really really soon.